Meghan Markle joined her husband, Prince Harry, at the Invictus Games over the weekend. On Saturday evening, the Duchess of Sussex introduced Harry to an audience of thousands during the opening ceremony of the Games. She publicly declared her love for her incredible husband and said she could not love and respect him. Meghan showed her support for Harry throughout the weekend, as the pair watched events, mingled with competitors and hitched a ride in miniature Land Rovers. Royal biographer Howard Hodgson told Express. Co.uk that Meghan traveled to The Hague as she likes keeping Harry close by. He said he thinks Meghan may be wanting to support her husband by traveling from their home in California with him for the games, leaving their two children at home. After a weekend in the Netherlands, Meghan flew back to Los Angeles to be reunited with Archie Harrison, who turns three next month, and Lilibet Diana, who is 10 months old. Harry, who is set to stay in the Netherlands for the duration of the sporting event, noted the significance of returning to the Games as a self-described proud papa. In an interview with People on Tuesday, he said, being a dad certainly adds another emotional layer to it. When I was in the army, I promised myself I would be out before having a wife and kids, because I couldn't imagine the heartache of being apart for so long during deployment, the risk of possibly getting injured, and the reality that my family's lives could be changed forever if that happened. Every member of the Invictus community has experienced varying degrees of these things. I have tremendous respect for what they and their families sacrifice in the name of service. The prince also spoke of Meghan's attendance at the games, saying that having her by his side meant everything. He said, I had always wanted to share these incredible moments with someone special, and to have Meg by my side means everything. The Invictus Games played a key role in the Sussex relationship journey. The pair made their public debut at the Toronto Games in 20. Harry explained, the Toronto Games were our first time out and about publicly in an official way. We were dating at the time, so it was a lot to take in, but fortunately, we were with the perfect community for that. Now, five years later, here we are in The Hague at the 5th Invictus Games, as parents of two, and living in the U.S. This trip marked Meghan's first visit to Europe since the couple's shock exit from the royal family in 2020. Ahead of their touchdown in the Netherlands, the Duke and Duchess paid a surprise visit to the Queen at her home in Windsor. The couple did not announce their UK stop-off ahead of time, and instead kept their return low-key. It's been reported that they met with Prince Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, first, before heading to Windsor Castle for a meeting with the monarch. Harry and Meghan had not returned to the UK together since their 2020 exit until now. They were not accompanied by their children, but hopes have been raised for a family reunion in June. The Sussexes have been invited to join the royal family on Buckingham Palace balcony during the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. The extended bank holiday in honor of Her Majesty falls on the weekend of Lilibet's first birthday. Harry and Meghan's daughter is yet to meet her great-grandmother, despite being named after her. A source close to the Sussexes told The Mirror on Friday, both the Duke and Duchess are very mindful the Queen is getting older and has had health issues associated with her great age. They have made it clear they are certainly planning to return to see the Queen with their family in the near future.